I'm going to be buying a smart boat. I'm going to put my smart TV on my smart boat. It's going to be very smart. Tech East starts with the automotive section where we really saw a lot of innovation in the aquatic space, specifically boats and clean engines, tying back to the larger idea of sustainability. We then went into the healthcare and wellness space where we talked about the democratization of health and how we're shrinking healthcare down to these smaller objects that can be used every day. And then we rounded things out with the big and the flashy LG, Samsung, a lot of the new tech and new TVs. Definitely a lot to look at. There's a lot of autonomous driving and a lot of the gaming and metaverse was very interesting. There's two million odd square feet of convention space. My company alone has uh, led 45 tours. Over 3,000 exhibitors. There's 100,000 attendees this year, which is about half of what we would see in a peak year. That's just a massive amount of, of square footage and things to see. What are you going to take back to your team as it sort of informs your marketing this year? In the past, we have think about these companies as, as electronic companies, and now they are data companies. They are insight companies, and they are marketing our, and digital communication companies. So I think we have to think about who do we partner with to reach our consumers, to understand our consumers, and then think about how we can better engage and, and reach the consumers with, with different partners. The way that people are consuming digital video, digital content, digital audio, is a lot of what we see at CES, and we have to think about how we can leverage all of these different platforms to reach our consumers. With Philips, we are all about innovation that improves people's health and well-being in a way that is meaningful, it's personalized, it's adaptive, and it's human-led. We saw companies that personalized your vitamins. We saw companies that tracked your health and your steps and your fitness, but also tied it to more systemic well-being. As manufacturers, we're always looking at how can we bring innovation to our customers as well. So some of the AR and VR things were really inspiring as we think to Consumers are shopping omni-channel. They're shopping more online. They want experiences that are like in-store experiences, and some of that technology can bring that to them. We have a picture of you where you're standing next to this massive caterpillar. There's a lot of automotive as well and farm equipment. What's interesting to me is so many applications for the use of AI, things you wouldn't think of. It sort of takes that technology you would expect in TV or electronics and really puts it in other categories and thinks outside of the box. For me, the challenge for my team is just thinking big, like what are the, where are the spaces that we want our marketing messages to show up? So it really just opens the world up to the places that we can get our marketing messages out. Specifically, New York Times Games partnered with Delta to bring all of our games to life on the Delta Airlines new fleet, which will have free Wi-Fi rolling out starting February 1st. So you'll be able to play the crossword, you'll be able to play Wordle all up in the sky using Delta's new free Wi-Fi. Honestly, every time I walk the floor, I find something really new and really fun to, uh, to look at and to share with, uh, with the folks that I'm walking with. One of the best things about CES is like this forward thinking and really improving the lives of folks using technology to extend life and the quality of life and just things like that.